Hi everybody, I just want to take a moment to uh, uh, talk about a panel saw. Don't do that with it. Um, in woodwork you use them quite often. Uh, there's lots of different types, lots of different makes. Uh, myself personally, I prefer Stanley. French, no, it's not English anymore. Uh, but uh, I prefer Stanley because it's just a good mech and the ten, they just seem to last uh, a bit longer than others. I'm sure you've got your favourites. A um, few things to think about when you're buying one of these is uh, the, the TPI, which is uh, the teeth per inch. Uh, this one's 11, so for every inch on the blade, there'll be 11 teeth. You'd use to find a blade for laminates like chipboard and uh, MDF plywood. You'd use a fine blade if you're cross cutting timber, sort of for um, decking and things like that, or joists or any carcassing timber. Then you'd probably get away with a coarser blade, so it'd be less teeth per inch. A um, couple of good things to remember about the, the other uses for the uh, panel saw. You've got uh, 45 and 90 here, so uh, if you get a piece of wood, you can hold it on there and use the back of the saw to create a nice square edge. Uh, or you can use the 45 to get a 45 angle like that if you're marking your timber. It's, uh, it's not always dead accurate, but it's pretty good. So if you're in a garden and you're doing it uh, on some decking or something, it's a handy little tip. Also, uh, the back of the saw is a good straight edge, so if you, you want a straight line, that's always a good uh, straight edge to use, the back of a panel saw. Uh, this is a 22 inch length as well, you can get longer ones uh, and shorter ones. I would uh, recommend getting a good quality panel saw, and, uh, it'll save you well then. You can get cheap ones, cheap throwaway ones, but it's not very good for the environment and uh, it's not very good for you because you're going to struggle. It's probably going to warp and things like that. I mean, once they warp, they start twist like that. You, you start on dragging in the wood and it uh, just called, creates a nightmare for you. Um, if you need to lubricate them as well, um, a good thing is uh, wax, get a wax crane or something and, or a candle and uh, put that on the side of the blade. Um, or you can spray, get spray lubricants and things, but it's well worth keeping it well lubricated because it will just will make your life so much easier. So anything else you'd like to know about a panel saw, post in comments and uh, I'll do my best to answer it for you.